Evaporation As water is heated by the sun, it evaporates and rises as water vapor. Transpiration Water vapor is also emitted from plant leaves by a process called transpiration. Every day, an actively growing plant transpires 5 to 10 times as much water as it can hold at once. When snow evaporates without going through melting process, it is called sublimation. Condensation As water vapor rises, it cools and eventually condenses, usually on tiny particles of dust in the air. These water particles then form cloud. Precipitation Precipitation in the form of rain, snow, and hail comes from clouds. Clouds move around the world propelled by air currents. For instance, when they rise over mountain ranges, they cool, becoming so saturated with water that water begins to fall as rain, snow, or hail, depending on the temperature of the surrounding air. Infiltration is the process by which precipitation or water soaks into subsurface soils and moves into rocks through cracks and pore spaces. Percolation Some of the precipitation and snow melt moves downwards, percolates or infiltrates through cracks, joints, and pores in soil and rocks until it reaches the water table where it becomes groundwater. Groundwater Water, which is held in cracks and pore spaces. Depending on the geology, the groundwater can flow to support streams. It can also be tapped by wells. Some groundwater is very old and may have been there for thousands of years. Runoff Excessive rain or snow melt can produce overload flow to creeks and ditches. Runoff is visible flow of water in rivers, creeks, and lakes as the water stored in the basin drains out. Nimbus Stratus Clouds Nimbus Stratus Clouds hang low and heavy in the sky and mean rain is imminent. It blocks out the sun. It is placed below 2,000 meters. Cumulonimbus Cloud Cumulonimbus Clouds are a type of cumulus cloud associated with thunderstorms and heavy precipitation. These clouds often produce lightning in their heart. Cumulonimbus clouds need warm and humid conditions to form. It can produce strong winds and a lot of lightning. Cumulonimbus clouds are also known as thunderheads due to their unique mushroom shape. Some can even become tornadoes given the right condition. Rain can also be predicted through animals. If the dragonflies are flying around, it means there's rain coming. If the birds are flying high in the sky, fair weather will stay around. After a rain, usually a rainbow will appear in the sky. 